Hello. Well, today we are going to read chapter 11, the final chapter. Will Peter, Wendy, John and Michael and the Lost Boys get home to Kensington safely? Or will there be some other troubles that come across their path? Let's find out. Chapter 11, The Return Home. That night the boys slept in the pirates' bunks, and next morning they set off for home, with Peter as captain. Meanwhile, Mr and Mrs Darling were still grieving over their lost children. Mr Darling was sure it was all his fault for chaining up Nana, and, to punish himself, he slept in her kennel. One night he was feeling especially miserable, so he asked Mrs Darling to play the piano in the room next door to cheer him up. And please shut the window, he said. It's drafty in the kennel. You know I can't do that, dear, said Mrs Darling. The children might come home. But the children were already on their way. They had crossed the sea now and were flying the last bit of the way. Peter and Tinkerbell were ahead of the others as Peter had a plan. When they found the open window and flew in, Peter was going to shut the window so that Wendy would think her mother had forgotten her and go back with him to the Neverland. But Mrs Darling was sitting sadly at the piano, with tears trickling down her face. She is fond of Wendy too, thought Peter miserably. We can't both have her. What had I better do? Then he gave in and said, Oh, come on, Tink, we'll let them in. So Wendy and Michael and John slipped into the nursery. They decided to get into bed and pretend they had never been away. When Mrs Darling came in and saw that the beds were full, she thought it was a dream. Then the children spoke to her. She put her arms round them, woke her husband and called Nana. Peter Pan had had many strange experiences that other children could never know. But now he was looking through the window at the one joy he could never share. The Darlings adopted the lost boys and Mrs Darling let Wendy go back to the Neverland once a year to help Peter with the spring cleaning. Peter came back to visit Wendy too. He had not much idea of time, so he did not come every year. Once he left it so long that when he next came, Wendy was grown up and had a little girl of her own called Jane. You can guess what happened. Jane wanted to go back with him and Wendy let her. As Peter never grew up, one year Jane's daughter was the one who went. And so it will go on, as long as there are children and the Neverland and Peter Pan. And here is a picture of Wendy saying goodbye to her daughter Jane and Peter Pan as they fly off to the Neverland. Okay, here is today's challenge. Can you write a different ending to the story? Here are some ideas that I thought of. Peter Pan could close the window so Wendy, John and Michael couldn't get back in. Captain Hook could survive and try to stop Peter Pan and the children returning to Kensington. Peter Pan and the children could get lost on the way back home and discover another island. Mr and Mrs Darling, along with Nana, could come to Neverland in search of Wendy, Michael and John. You could use one of these ideas, or your own idea, as a starting point and write your very own ending to the story, Peter Pan. That is the end of the story of Peter Pan. Thank you so much for joining me to share his adventure. Tomorrow we're going to do a book review of this story. Have a great day and I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thank you.